car stories don't get a whole lot more fairy tale than that of the Ineos Grenadier, a new off-roader just released this week. It was conceived in 2017 on the back of a beer coaster in an English pub by a company executive who loved his off-roaders and didn't want to see the Land Rover Defender simply fade off into the dusty sunset. So, Ineos, a company best known for producing chemicals, suddenly found itself splurging big bucks developing a car, the Grenadier. It's planned to go into production late in 2021 and arrive in Australia as early as 2022. Sharing obvious design similarities with the Land Rover Defender, as well as the occasional hint of Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon, the Ineos Grenadier is a wagon designed for serious off-roading and serious work. It's built on a ladder frame chassis, has live axles front and rear, towering ground clearance, a low range transfer case and locking differentials front, rear and centre. It's also powered by BMW six cylinder engines in either petrol or diesel flavour. But longer term that flavour is set to switch to hydrogen. Ineos executives admit they are seriously looking at incorporating a hydrogen fuel cell system into the Grenadier, something they say will almost certainly happen for the next generation car, which is admittedly some time away. The CEO of Ineos says hydrogen is an obvious choice, allowing a simple and reliable electric motor to be paired with long-range hydrogen tanks. Now that really would change the off-road game.